hello welcome back to my channel <laughs> welcome back to my channel uh it's jordan on my channel it's just jordan and i'm going thrifting in today but um it'll be a little different today uh it's supposed to be a bag sale um i'm not sure what it consists of i've never done it but from what i remember them saying about it it's something like you fill up one plastic bag and it's what three dollars or something right do you remember good for nothing anyway so yeah it's supposed to be like three dollars um i was talking to an employee a few weeks ago and they were saying they changed it she didn't tell me the details but <laughs> they were saying they changed it a little bit so we'll be experiencing that today so yeah let's go in and see what i can fill my bag up with Okay. So I'm heading over to the blue and green section first because I've been really liking things in blue and green. So let's just see what they've got. What? Looking like they got nothing. Um, you just so tickled. I used to want some flip flops like this so bad. You remember these? Mm. And you would never get me any. I feel like they're more for when it's cold though. No? Steer pants, you guys. Do people still wear these? Found my favorite types of pants in the store and they were sitting in the go back rack. So yeah, safe to say they're mine now. <laughs> I'ma buy all these pants. Okay, I need a buggy, cause this ain't gonna work. Finally, you guys, a buggy. You guys, older women in the thrift store so fast. <laughs> Me one day. I usually like looking at scarves because the thrift store has really cute vintage scarves and I love the little floral ones. But these are kind of more tie around the neck scarves. All right, let's see what the two pieces are working with. They got them up here in the cut. What is this, Talbots? What's this? There's this. You can tie it up. You can tie up this. Mm -hmm. Oh, silk, you guys. Talbot, so you know it's vintage. Yeah, it's pure silk. Pure silk. <laughs> I guess I'll go over here, you guys. I got kicked out of my spot. Okay, you guys, I was laughing because the original place that I was standing where I was showing y'all those two pieces, this lady, like, automatically, I guess, was waiting on me to move. And as soon as I, like, walked up to my mom, which I wasn't far from my mother, she automatically, like, stole my spot. And she was not less than six feet away from my mom. Like, she was all up in her grill. 40? This is Ralph Lauren. It's not really the kind of look I go for. It's kind of, kind of boring. I've been seeing a lot of these purses lately. The little year 2000 purses with the letters. And usually every time I see them, they have a J on them. Not this time. This is a pretty bag. Mother. It's what? Oh, it is coat. I knew it felt like nice leather. That's nice. That's a definite cop. That say forty. Does this say forty dollars? Huh? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. But that say. I know that. This ain't. I get it for five. I just want to. I want to ask about it because there's no way. This looks like a carpet. I 
imagine in that belted like kind of a shirt like a blazer dress mm -hmm. like black and gold and some black heels all right so i'm gonna look over here i never see cute sweatshirts and that's kind of sad to me oh i like this but like it's way too hot outside for this but feels winter this would be super cute. I love the plaid inside. It's super thick. That would be so warm. There's a champion jacket. You know, you can never go wrong with champion. And then it's got the fold over collar. God dang it. Don't y'all hate when things fall down in the store? Okay, claim your girl. Alright, I'm gonna take this off since nobody's over here. Alright, so I've got this yes hat. So we're gonna check and see how much this is. Mm hmm. Um, bag sale even work. See, um, that one lady said red. The red tag. Uh huh. What all can fit in a bag you can get for four dollars. Oh, red tag, not red clothes. Right. Oh, <laughs> I wonder what? why you said the red clothes. <laughs> so is this? Yeah, that's a red tag. Oh, I don't like, I don't like red. How much is I, that? I have no idea because they have them on the price. The price is right at the end of the thing. So no idea, but I like that it folds over. Mm-hmm. It does like a little. Varsity look to it. Yeah. yeah. I feel like if I got a question, they're not tactical enough for me. You know? Uh, if you question it, then don't. Yeah. So I'm probably going to put these back. They were over here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at single thing on the rack. If this forty dollars, somebody Girl. needs to be slapped because yeah. I'm not paying more than five dollars for this bootleg. It's it, it so bootleg. I actually do like this hat. I know you don't like. It. I can see it with um my hair straight with some big hoop earrings and a little white mm. t-shirt and some little mom jeans. Cute. All right, it is time to go discover my fate. And the price of the clothes I have. So I separated everything. Um, the ones with the red tag. Hold on, what is this? That's Charlotte Russe. No baby. <laughs> oh, I'm so sick. I hate when this happens. So yeah, the red tags are the things that if you put it in a bag, it I think it's three dollars. If I'm wrong, I will correct myself later. But yeah, it should be three dollars. So we found a few of those things. So yeah, now we're just gonna go see how much it is. Um, most of my stuff was not a red tag, unfortunately. Don't cuss me out for these bags. We reuse them at home. <laughs> right, they make great little liners for the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, goodness gracious. you guys we're to the best part of the video in my opinion and that would be the haul so this is a try on haul because what's the point of me showing you guys the stuff i got if i don't even try it on so what i'm gonna do i'm going to go ahead and start with the things i got out of the women's section because um you know your girl likes the women's section and the men's section and maybe the men's section a little more so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start with the women's section. And also, in this video, I will be trying on, but um, I think most of these pieces, I do have pictures of me kind of wearing them a little better than me strutting around in this video, so I will insert them as well. All right, so the first thing 
that I copped from the women's section. And I don't know if you want to consider it women's, but it's on the same side. And women carry purses, so we'll go with it. I copped this super cute little tan bag. When I picked it up, I automatically knew this was some good quality. Um, it was really smooth, really soft. But one thing I did not know until I brought it to my mother, and she was looking and checking it out, um, it is a leather coach bag and vintage at that. Um, I can't really show you because it's like inside, but there's like a little coach stamp, you know, the little card size stamp they have, like with the explanation of authenticity and all of that. But if you see the inside of the bag, you can see that somebody took great care of this or did not wear it. Um, you can see the age a little bit here, but it's really not bad at all. So yeah, it's just a beige bag that is like as soft as butter beige coach vintage bag with the gold hardware that twists open and you see it's got the little coach tag on the side um i would assume it's like a little crossbody bag so actually i'm not assuming it is a crossbody bag i think it's super cute really good for the spring and summer um you guys somebody said something about me not saying the prices when i shopped on the thrifting my last come thrift with me um the reason is because most of the time i don't look at the prices at a lot of the thrift stores i go to they kind of have the whole area that is like the same price so I never really look at the individual price tag because it's usually always the same. The range tended to be between four to ten dollars for stuff. Um, it's very rare when I look, but um, I think this one I want to say was like four dollars. And let me tell y'all a quick little story. I don't mean to drag this out, but t tell me if y'all deal with this at the thrift store. I found the cutest little guest bucket hat it had like a little animal print on it and the little band and it was guess and it said guess right here i thought i found a gem and i did let me say it was in the hat section just the regular hat section not behind the counter you know behind the counter they usually put those big name brand things and whatnot so i get the hat i pick it up inside there is a little tag that says twenty dollars on it and it could i could tell it's a little ghetto like somebody wrote it on there but on the back you can see the original retail tag for it and it's from some little boutique i don't know where it's like called dulce dolce something it's not dolce and gabbana obviously because it's guess but yeah somebody's little shop that it was from in the 90s so I didn't know how much it was officially. All of the hats are supposed to be $3 and it had the little tag, the little green tag, which means that it goes in the little $3 hat section. So I'm like, mm, I'm a little nervous to take this up here because I know how the thrift stores do nowadays. They have gotten smart. They know that we go there because we can find designer and high quality items for cheap and they try to get over on you sis. So, this has turned into a story time and I'm so sorry, but I just want to know, can y'all relate? So I went to the counter and I brought the little hat. And so she's looking, she's looking, she's like, oh, okay, this one's $3. And I'm like, yes. Two seconds later, she finds a little tag that says $20. She's like, actually, I think it's $20. Let's like not get this wrong. She was super sweet. I'm just talking about the situation. This is not targeted at her. This is all about the situation in thrift stores in general with their pricing. She's like, yeah, it's $20. Uh, do you want to pay $20? And I was looking at her like, nah, <laughs> I don't. And so I thought she was asking me like I had a choice or something. And so she was just like, okay. And she puts this up. So I guess they decided they were going to price that guess 90s hat from the 90s for $20. You would have thought it was Gucci. Like, I would have paid $20 for a Gucci hat in the thrift store. No, this is not a vintage store. This is not consignment, anything. A thrift store. A thrift store. They they tried to make that hat that was sitting in the $3 section a $20 hat. I'm sorry, it was a guess. I left that thing there. But anyway, move on to the next thing. All right, the next thing I found in the women's section was this super cute floral little blazer and it has shoulder pads, you guys. Um, I feel like this blazer would not be the same without the shoulder pads and let me tell you why. 
so it is a super long one and when i see a super long one all i think is blazer dress put a nice little belt around it and you've got yourself a blazer dress so without the shoulder pads i feel like it wouldn't give it that like kind of expensive and like more elegant look it would kind of just be flat and that's not as fun so i absolutely love this one i found um it's super light it's not like blazer material at all this one is probably already up on my depop now but i thought it was super cute there's certain things like i'm tempted to keep instead of putting on my depop but then i always remember jordan where are you going so I just put it up there so somebody else can enjoy it and actually wear it. But yeah, this one's super cute. As soon as I saw it, all I saw was a vision of black and gold belt and all gold jewelry and some heels. Like, But also, I'll insert a picture where I tried it on on my Depop with some biker shorts with lace on them. Because, you know, everybody doesn't want they out. So... <laughs> I gave that as an option as well. But yeah, this is super cute. I was excited about this. Okay, the next thing I found in the thrift store, um, if you've seen the last come thrift with me that I did a couple weeks ago, then you know these are my absolute jam. The only thing about them was they are too big for skinty little old me. So yeah, found these little camo utility kind of cargo-esque pants. They've got the little, I don't know what that's called, like a butt seam. I love when pants have that though it's really cool a lot of times military pants and stuff have that but um i'm pretty sure they're like vintage because they and when i say vintage i just mean like pretty old maybe i should just say that i'm pretty sure they're quite old because they just feel very worn they're super heavy material um yeah the quality was well thought out when these were made unlike a lot of clothes today and they have kind of that worn look to them which i love and they're super comfortable so um in the picture i can't try these on you will not see me try these on because they will fall right off of me um you will see i'll insert a little video if she lets me of my mom doing her thing for my depop um she was flexing and finessing wearing these pants and they were so cute on her we were all shocked because that's so not her style but yeah she said these were super comfortable and she low-key liked them but again not her style so she'd never wear them but um yeah these were these are already on my depop as well if they haven't sold already but yes i love these a lot they were so cute on her i wish they were my size but i don't just shop for my size anymore all right the last thing for the women's section that i found and it's completely out of season like they would fit me perfectly but it's completely out of season so i'm not sure if i want to put them on my depop or not but if i do i probably won't put them on my depop for a long time but it's these super cute in the waist like look at these um they're little vintage stirrup pants so they have the little little thingy at the bottom little ankle holder feet holder whatever it is but yeah i picked up these pants because they were so retro you could just automatically tell from how this waist was built and it like rose to a point in the back that this was super 80s i'm thinking it's by somebody who made really good clothes um i wouldn't i don't want to say high quality but like this tag kind of gives me expensive vibes and i think it'll be really cool in the fall and the winter with some boots because i hate my ankle showing when it's cold outside but yeah i thought these were super cute and they have this little silver little accent to them which um if it had another one i could put like a silver chain but it doesn't but hey if anybody knows like what exactly this is for then let me know because i have no idea now we are moving on to the men's section and the first thing I found in the men's section was this super cute, super just sporty champion jacket. See, it says champion on the back. And it's also got the little champion logo right here. Uh, what I loved about it was a lot of times when you find champion things like this, they tend to be like dark blue or black or something. And this was like a medium charcoal gray. So it had like the varsity look with the lines at the end. And then it had the varsity look on the neck part. So I kind of like it in a popped collar kind of way. But you can also bend the collar down. So I just think it's cool if you like open it all the way up and like throw on some gold chains. And maybe like some little jogger pants and some sneakers. And you're good to go. It's a really light jacket so it can be worn now kind of like in the evening but 
yeah this was a really good find i feel like in the thrift stores around here i have a really hard time finding sporty men's clothes that aren't like not it so the next thing that um i didn't find my mother found these but still i was excited just the same she found <laughs> y'all know i love my camo right she found the actual digital camo i am obsessed with these the way i styled these you guys i'm not gonna do it in the trial home but i'll insert the pictures was like amazing it was so cute in my opinion so these were a size small so they kind of were short in the legs and smaller in the waist and these are kind of hard to find in such a small size being that they are military pants a lot of times they are quite big um <laughs> i joked with my dad because he was in the military him and told him that i was gonna steal all his pants that he has like this and sell them on my depop which i was totally kidding but um yeah he, his are huge i can't do anything with them but yeah i was really excited about these i feel like you could wear these with some heels um you could definitely dress them down with some sneakers like they are not just for iraq next to the tanks you can shred in the streets with these okay that is called streetwear my guy so yeah i was very excited about her finding these um i did put them on my depop i was very tempted to keep them if i find some more i probably will keep them so the next thing i found um it was in the men's section but i'm gonna tell you right now it is not men's yeah they seem to do this a lot but these are some ll bean vintage mom jeans and at first sight and it's funny you guys these were actually at the thrift store the first time i went and i did a video of that but yeah the first time i went they were there and i did not get them but they were here again or not again they're still there and i decided to get them because my mom was like do you not see that waist like look at the waist but yeah the great thing about these pants is that they are baggy but they are snatched in the waist and if that doesn't scream women's i don't know what does and especially the fact that it says women's on the tag i don't know how they missed that maybe somebody put in the wrong spot but um anyway the best thing about these pants not only that they're baggy and they're snatched in the waist they are fully lined in plaid and when i first saw them i thought maybe just the top had plaid no they are plaid all the way inside like look at the ankles you guys they're plaid and so like you're probably thinking maybe like okay what's the big deal about that um if you didn't think about this already this is the big deal you can fold them up and do that like that is so cute i love plaid and this is red plaid at that so it's kind of like it can give you like a little punk vibe you can definitely style it with some dr martens and go on your way super cute i was super excited about this find all right so the last thing that i found and don't judge me you guys i live in the south so i find these sometimes but but these are a little different i'm gonna explain why okay yes it's camo again all right but besides the fact that this is camo um these are men's jeans uh they're definitely vintage because um who makes jeans like this anymore but these are that's the thing about them they're jeans they're not cargo pants they're not utility like they are denim denim material um but yeah they have a the little tag on the back it's like um cabela's 1961 yeah so what i loved about these uh they were men's but they were kind of small in the waist because you know men used to wear their pants up high so i thought they were great for women's pants um they don't fit me unfortunately they're a little big it was also a good way to do some street style i'd love to see them with some air force ones i was very excited to find these for my store and yeah they were really cute all right, so this is an outfit that I forgot to mention in my video, but it doesn't matter because I couldn't fit it anyway. Um, I got it to sell on my shop. I'm sorry, my dad is mowing, but I got it to sell on my shop because it was a vintage Talbot's little 100% silk set. Um, but I found that it had a few couple of stains on it. I don't know where they are. They're really faint stains, but it also had a button missing right here. And so that was just too much for me to deal with, to talk about on my shop. I might as well just say it's defected and broken. So I was just, just like, for me. yeah, so I just told my mom she could have it. So now she has a new vintage 100% silk set, but it looks so cute on her. But I did get it for her to model. So this is, who okay. 
Okay. <laughs> so this is who I would have gotten to model it anyway. So yeah, she's just wearing it with some little tan suede pumps and her Louis bag. And she is looking snatched, honey. Come on. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, ooh. She doesn't want y'all to see the top because she said her <laughs> hair looks a mess. But the one bad thing about it is it comes with this little pre-pooch. Like somebody sewed yeah. some darts into it to make room for that. Yeah, it's like, what What would you do? You had well, a, I mean, they probably had a, a stomach. stomach. You don't have a stomach. So. You have a small waist. It, it happens, okay? How that happen? I don't know. People have different hmm. bodies. And so they also, the also the good thing though is that they sewed some darts into the backs. So if you have a little bit more booty, which she doesn't, so. Hmm. Y'all can't have it right here. This is mine. Oh my goodness. So don't be asking for it. Look, y'all need to get on my Depop because she is always trying to claim all the good stuff. Always. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one cute. I'm wearing it to church, son. Not like that, I hope. Oh, man. Mm -mm. Let's see how it looks. Took deep. Go ahead, let us see it. Fix the stomach. Is it like bunched right here? I don't know what's going on right there. I don't know what's going on with the stomach. Maybe I need to grow a stomach or something. I don't, I don't know. know. I couldn't sell this because it has too That's many too defects. That's weird. I don't have to get that tailored. It, this ain't the back, is it? In fact, go ahead and do a little walk for us. Oh, get it, girl. Get it. Okay. Okay. Okay, turn around. Ooh. 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 You look cute though. That's a cute little set for you. Come on, Silk Mommy. Let's go, Silk Mommy. You ain't gotta be paying all that money for no two pieces. All right, thank you for that. <laughs> so that is all I have for you guys today. As you can see, I didn't have that many super colorful finds or super girly finds, but it was okay. Sometimes, sometimes it's gonna be that way. I still loved everything I got. Let me know what your favorite piece was. Also, how do y'all feel about the camo pants? I saw in my last video that there were like mixed reviews on it. And some people were kind of like, uh, I was like, eh, at first. But it's actually cute. So how are you feeling about the camo pants now? After you've seen like the way I styled them, would you try it? Or are you kind of like, nah, you look like you're about to go hunting. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and let me know that below. I really enjoyed this thrift trip. Uh, it wasn't what I expected it to be because I thought the bag sale was gonna be a lot more intense the way they talked it up, but it was very minor if you ask me. It was still a fun trip. Um, I'm very excited to go on the next one. And of course I will try to take you guys with me. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for all the nice and sweet comments that I get from a lot of you. Some of you guys are mean, but some of you guys are so sweet. And so I don't even care about the mother folks on period. But anyway, I will see y'all next time on my channel. Love you guys so much. Regular Goodwill will never see me again. One, two, three, four. Four bags full for. I'll show y'all the receipts. Goodwill out with. Uh, out with. Oh!